Yeah. yeah. You barely see him in the video. He's dark. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today I'm going to show you something. Then is what happens when a stud or a ball breaks inside this cylinder head. In this case, we're having issues with this a Cummins ISX that has a broken stud, broken ball in the cylinder head. That is a big issue because there is no way to get the ball out. So uh, there is many ways to fix this problem and it is not, all these ways to fix this problem are not shit. So in this case, uh, he is trying to drill a hole to get the thread completely removed so we can extract the ball. But it seems like this ball has been repaired. It has been repaired before, so um, that is uh, an issue because once this uh, uh, thread, the whole piece of the thread is being fixed once, it's more likely that it's not going to take it again. And in order to save this thread, we have to do whatever it takes. So in, in your case, right, if you have a truck and you're working on it, or you are an owner operator, and you are trying to do your, uh, the job yourself, and suddenly this happens and the ball breaks, it's something that is going to slow you down so much and you won't have um, probably the equipment how to repair it. So what will you do? Well, there is people that specialize on this. There is a lot of um, uh, people that just do threads. Then they will come over here and you have to call them. They will come over here and they will repair your cylinder head and everything. The thing is like to actually repair the cylinder head orifice, in this case in the exhaust manifold uh, thread, you, where you have to drill it down all the way, or if it's possible, you can extract it with a special extractor to remove the, the ball completely. Sometimes half, sometimes it works. But if it's not possible, you have to drill it all the way down until you can remove the whole uh, material of that ball then broke inside and then you have to insert uh, a thread insert to the new thread. Um, you can use the same ball but you have to have a specific thread or a helicoil. A helicoil actually works too but a, a thread insert is actually the best to fix these problems. Um, but if, if nearby in your area you don't have uh, nowhere, you have nothing uh, nearby your area so what you have to do is uh, remove the head. And that is not cheap, you know, when you remove the head. And um, it, so to, in order to try to save this customer a lot of money, this is the best way to do it. Um, of course, right, it's not actually the recommended way to do it because uh, it's going to it's still, it's gonna break later. Um, and uh, it's not very professional after all because uh, it's, still is going to break again. But uh, anyway, uh, this is how you have to do it. So this video I just did, just simply because this is something that no most people mention about like, uh, about like, it's time here. Oh, you yeah. yeah. This is something that not most people mention about uh, how it's like when you break a ball, when uh, you do have a broken ball, how you do it. I mean, there's not much information about it. So it is something that is very tough to work on and uh, you require special skills and special tools to actually make this orifice and the thread really well, perfect. But um, most of the time we don't have that equipment, so we have to figure out how to do it. In this case, that's what we're trying to do. And um, if it doesn't work well, we will see what, what to do after that. Uh, even though then we can screw the orifice and make it larger than what it's supposed to be, we still can fix it afterwards, but it's going to take more money, more time, but you know, we're trying our best to fix it. So in, if you have this problem, if uh, your, any of your balls break inside your cylinder head, well, good luck. That's the best I can do to tell you good luck. There is no specific way, there is no uh, professional way to fix it, except for calling someone to come over and fix it, someone then just repair thread or remove the head and take it to a machine shop and they can remove the ball, the broken ball, because they have the machines, they have the, uh, the tables, they have everything. So they can remove the ball completely and insert the new thread or drill it down all the way and insert a, 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 a thread insert so that way you can use the same ball. Well, uh, this is all I have for you, and uh, any questions about it, which pretty much I'm pretty sure you're gonna have. 
uh, just comment below and uh, hope this video is helpful and thank you for watching.